Okay, guys, here's the thing. My girlfriend's a show bitch has its really, really exciting romance animes of the winter of 2017. Now, we have come a long way of this show. And I know that I haven't got a lot of views of this show because some of us find this attractive and others don't take this show seriously as a show that be talked about in reviews. I mean, normally you see clips of all the craziness actions they did in the show, but to do a review of this show, the reason I did this is because I've read the manga. Not all of it. I've read up to like 10 chapters, but still it was a great show. I mean, a great manga. And then when I heard it was an anime, it was really great to see, to, to see it up close. That's why it was really an honor to do reviews of this show. So now, the episode 10 of My Girlfriend's Show, Bitch, is the last and last episode. Granted, if it was two more episodes, I would have said, let's continue on. But at my calendar right here, we are almost to, to the end. And January is going to be tons of great shows that's going to come out next year. Like The Seven Deadly Sins Season 2. And, and, you know, all those returning shows like Overlord. Yeah, there's one like Overlord. But we are we are at the brink right now where the last episode of Girlfriend of Showbiz has been... It was really funny. In other words, after nine episodes, what can we make the last episode? In there... In there efforts to make episode 10 the last episode in an attempt to make it so funny they did it so in this review i like to point things out that this show this episode was really great before i begin this whole thing this episode was really great it had some funny this funny funny misunderstandings and a whole lot of sexual sexual humors granted this is what we've been for this is what we wanted some fan service and a little bit of misunderstandings point taken now in the beginning they really okay the relationship between haru and kosaka's relationship are not in peril but they both connected they had a lot of funny moments throughout the entire episode in episode 10 kicked things off with them in the mall now the thing about this is that there's no way he, okay we could tell that this was a dream from the beginning this was a dream because he said that he had a vision into this vision of how she was supposed to be and it did and then he wakes up knowing that he probably got a heart on which i know he did because what how are you fantasizing about a girl you so much you actually got a heart on with this now in an effort for episode 10 they did what's what we call it a lot of freaking misunderstandings for example studying now we all know that now everybody has a study people have a lot of studying methods for them and each individual girl has so much humor in this that makes you want to say, I like her. For example, if you look at Reese's son, you know, girl with blonde hair and red eyes, she wants to study the girls. The girls wants to study with her. And by studying with her, we all know what that means. Yuri! Yes. And as for the freaking pervert, the pervert of all... You know, the guy with the red hair and glasses, he's the biggest perv, male pervert of 2017. I'll be honest, I can't think of a better, I can't think of a bigger pervert than the guy with the red hair. You know, I really can't think of any perverted than him. Unless you guys have an idea of who could outrank him as big biggest pervert compared to Jiraiya or Master Roshi. But still, this guy is the biggest pervert that I know of 2017. Now, and it had some key awkward moments especially with her and especially him and his sister him and his little sister are so entwined with each other that that is that is want to make sure we're not in the yoshoga no sora incest type bullshit if you guys watch it please don't watch it by yourself have a pillow and just squeeze like oh my god now back to okay back to what i was saying so they're studying biology quote biology but her topic of biology was study the reproduction system I'm like that's too much but as a big brother he's very nice to his little sister and a little sister can't refuse the fact that he's so nice yet yet it's so awkward to see her pet her head in the hoodie you know so adorable but she can't deny the fact that he's being too nice now we're going to the ice cream scene okay 
let me be honest. This is an ice cream. And you know, when it comes to ice cream in anime, people... No, when it comes to ice cream in anime and a whole bunch of references, we're bound to see anything that is relatable to ice cream and fan service galore. And you know the worst case scenario, you're bound to see shit. So each individual character went to this ice cream store and this girl with the blonde hair, you know, I, I mean girl with the brown hair, I don't really know her that well. I don't really know her that well. She's just a side character, but I haven't known much. But she's friends with uh, the main character's little sister. So she works at an ice cream store, and each character had their own individual what kind of ice cream you got. One wants a mega size cone cup. And that's the perverted girl. She's like, I want a mega size. That's stupid. And then you got the guy, the, the freak is just, he want two popsicles, and he can't hold on one of each side, so we already know what he's trying to do. If I did. Can't try, but you can see why he was tr describing two popsicles. And then you got to uh, Ko I mean, Kosaka-san, you know, I mean, you got the main girl who wants an ice cream with two mango balls, shapes, and a banana. In a cone with white filling on top. I'm like, <sighs> but the thing about her is that she takes the relationship way too far, being the perverted she is. Like, she took a selfie of her eating a, eating a banana, a, a regular banana with two mango balls on it. And then when the banana slipped out of it and into her chest, she took another selfie and just click click on it and I'm like oh my god this is perverted this is so much and if you think that's and if you think that's kind of perverted the main character himself asks for a, a thing that you pop this and then get the milk come I'm like like out of those four I will say this that the that the one right here he's more perverted than he outranked the pervert level of all of them now if you want to talk about a female perverted character of this, of this show, as the girl with the, that show her bangs, that don't show her bangs, I'll be honest with you, she looks kind of hot. Like, I wish they would have showed us to see her eyes. Like, I know this is the last episode, but I wish they would have seen her eyes. Like, to see what she actually looks like with her bangs underneath. Like, come on, guys. How often do you see anime characters with with big old glasses and, you know, and bangs and, and bangs holding up the eyes. You wouldn't want to see what they actually look like because they could be hotter, and it's true. So she looked at her. So, and she fantasized so much that she got wet in the fucking chair. You know, it's kind of like Kogias, where Table Coon, you know? And she got, and you can see all the wetness on that table. But with her, you can actually see the drip on the chair. She fantasized too much. She got wet. And if you want to talk about preference, the nurse, the nurse made out with a student in the fucking nurse in the nursing room that you hear like, oh, yeah. Like, you hear that, and you know she's doing something because she took off her lap jacket. Now, onward to the last scene of the show where we get to see a lot about the modeling. Now the modeling, you know, they go outside just sketching whatever. And when it comes to misunderstandings where you like you like slimy things or sticky things because it's hot, people get a little bit personal. I mean not not personal, but a little bit perverted. And every character has said some dumb shit. But fair not because the way how I portrayed this this model episode this model scene was too much. Like you got Risa, you know, posing in the tree and her panties, I mean, her skirt lift up. But luckily, the security guard in the background put a flashlight on it. So it kind of, we can't see anything. But if you guys want to see a lot of those misunderstandings, you can see the uncensored version. The uncensored, uncensored version to look at it. Now, I'm moving on to the, from that scene to her, to the main character and the main girl just sketching photos, you know. And uh, it's stupid to see them taking a photo, I mean, sketching a tree with legs open. I'm not fucking kidding. Like, if you watch the main character and the main girl actually sketching the tree, the tree itself has its legs open. I'm not fucking joking. You could just look at that tree and like, what the fuck are they drawing? And I'm not kidding. You could actually look at it. Don't think of it as just a letter M. Look at it just a person with his legs open. That's how the tree looks like. And then 
And the last ditch effort, what makes the last ditch effort of this was to have the main character, Harakun, just say to her, I love you. And it just opened up her eyes, knowing that their relationship can be intact. And it was. He actually said, I love you. And she replied back. Of course, it took him 30 seconds to riff to fix the image, fix the model, but still, it was great to see those two confessing their love once more. And it was really great to see these two shippers confirmed already since episode one, but still, it was great to see all the misunderstandings, all the greatness that these two had come so much together still, that the shipping still intact. For romantic comedy like this, they still were great. Of course, in the end, I mean, when he finished drawing, I really want to know what it was. I really want to know what the sketch was. If it was bad or good, I wanted to see how well he did. But we couldn't see it because it's probably an uncensored version of it. But still. But anyway, this, this was their last attempt to make us laugh, to make us feel giddy about it. To have, to have the last episode makes it... To have... I mean, to make, to make this last episode really in an effort to make it... To make us laugh, to make us feel welcome with the show, it really was great. Even though it was 10 episodes in the finale, it still was great to watch. So that's it for now. So anyway, if you guys want to watch the show again, you can. Probably have to go and have a dub soon, but still, you can watch it. You can watch the 10 episodes of it for if, if you're into romance and comedy. And if you want to read more about it, you could read the manga, which honestly, I might go back and reread it just to make sure that everything gets funny right every second just to remember all the good times of it but that's it so so again thank you for watching my chat thank you for watching my girlfriend the virgin bitch 10 episodes of reviews of it i really appreciate it and i thank you so much for it mm -hmm.